Now, I want to share a few more things that help me make living in the command line easier, especially when handling files. Because actually, what you see here is the environment I typically work in. So I'm not even using a file explorer anymore. I use, you know, shell commands to move files around to copy them, and so on and so forth. And there are a few things that make that much easier. And that's also the reason why I'm using actually Z shell instead of bash, because well, I outlined that in the video course already. Uh, there are main reasons for this, you can, for example, switch directories without typing CD. It sounds like a small improvement, but if you do that a lot, it's actually a huge enabler. And you can also auto expand multiple directory hierarchies at once with hitting tab once. So instead of saying CD um, workspaces tab as stationer tab um, coffee tab coffee shop and things like that, what you can do instead is just typing workspaces as stationer coffee coffee hitting tab once and once that is clear what what you're gonna have it just auto expands everything at once you can hit enter and then you just right there and I believe that's just easier what you saw right here is another thing that um, makes it easy so if you are displaying the um, directory contents instead of typing ls and things like that I actually um, activated a shell shortcut control K in my case to just clear the current um, contents and display the current directory, which is just right next to control L, the default for clear. That is also helpful, by the way, and it just displays whatever you have. You can also integrate that with uh, other things and just, um, you know, create your own shortcuts. So for example, to integrate the tree um, binary with some different levels. So for example, you can uh, have, I have control J, for displaying a tree with one uh, level and then multiple um, hierarchies until you can you know display everything you have in your current structure and i believe this makes it just much easier to display or to navigate around rather than using a mouse and using a file explorer so for me that was just easier to use because you can use the keyboard so that's what it is all about your keystrokes just right on the your fingertips a far more accessible easier um, easily um, exacerbable rather than using the mouse and navigating around there. Um, what else is very helpful and uh, what I really like about Z shell is the integration with what is called um, suffix aliases. So you can, for example, take an image file here, just type the file name, hit enter, and it will open up this PNG file in my um, program that I have defined. So I will share all the code, how to achieve all that with you folks. But um, how that briefly looks like or roughly is I registered these uh, suffix aliases with the programs that I want to use. And that's actually the reason why I can type and autocomplete this file name as well, because we have registered um, that program here. A um, few other things, for example, you can integrate that with um, with zip files um, as well. So with zip and unzip. So that's another alias for zip files or WAV files, JAW files works as well. So you can just quickly display the contents of this um, deployment artifact or just do the same thing. Works uh, as well uh, with zip files for me. So this just is much faster to display what you currently have here rather than using a mouse, I believe. What else is there is that you want to integrate the clipboard in your system that you have. So let's open up an editor here and let's type our hello world so if we copy this into the system clipboard then of course what we want to have we want to be able to paste that as well in order to paste commands into our uh, command line and the same for the way back if I hit another shortcut control O in my case then I can just copy that back of the current uh, command that I, uh, that I was currently typing and now if I have the result, hello world, and I want to take the result and instead copy it somewhere else, well, you already know about pipings, that can be integrated with that as well. And then you have the result back in, um, in your system clipboard. So that's very helpful rather than using a mouse and copy and pasting stuff around to go back to your clipboard and to the browser or somewhere else. You can just um, take that and use the keyboard for virtually everything. At least that's the goal. 
What else we have is a few other um, integrations. So what I typically try to avoid is to use some GUI programs for things that are actually much simpler to start or where I just want some quick information or some quick overview over, for example, the current directory. Or if we go back to our project that we have, um, this one can actually display some Git graph with some fancy ASCII art um, display of what the current um, structure with all the Git branches and tags looks, um, looks like. Uh, so that uses um, a Git extension where you can actually just register um, an own uh, binary and per default what git does it registers all these subcommands with git dash and then just take that command as a literally as a git subcommand and you can type git graph or, or this version and it would just open up um, that command that you just typed so that's the same reason why I'm using Git on a command line for me that's just easier exacerbable if I can and if I can modify that using keystrokes and using the keyboard same is true for any other things that I'm doing on the command line when moving files around. So a few more tips on that. For example, what I do when I modify my files, I typically um, sort, sort them by, uh, by um, date or I want to have the date into the file name. So I have another shortcut where I just display the current date into the command line. So for example, when you want to move around the file, let's take take test.json and let's uh, prepend um, the current date. What we can do is things like that to just make that quicker, insert the current date uh, quickly in order to rename this file. And other things, you know, that you can just integrate um, into your command line. A few more things that are quite funny. There are tons of command line tools available. For example, there's a quick calendar for overview what you have. You just saw the date. I scripted some um, command in order to start a timer just quicker because that makes it easier and these are things I'm, I'm constantly using. So whatever you're using, again, try to think about that. Try to think, is there an easier integration? It doesn't have to be a command line tool, but anything you can use using the keyboard. And that just makes it, I believe, much easier. Another thing that I found uh, quite interesting that can be integrated with uh, Z Shell or actually um, Vim I have some encrypted message, GPG message, and you can um, register some custom um, Vim file handling for encrypted files, for example, where I can just say, okay, if I open it up, that gets decrypted using my current um, GPG key, and then I can edit that file and hello world, um, goodbye world, and that will just be reflected in, in that file and re-encrypt it. So these are a few things you can do to make, I believe, um, living in the command line easier, especially what we want to do. We want to use the keyboard for everything. The command line makes it easy. And there are a few tips and tricks to integrate that better into your normal workflow.